Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back again to a little Austin Sports Weekend with Austin, the man here himself. It is time for some NFL football. We have already finished up week six, about to go into week seven. Before we get started here, though, thanks again for Severe TV for uh, setting us up here, SevereTV.com. Thanks again for Autographs Plus for sponsoring and us. And our great producer in the back. I got the producer in the back ahead of me. Uh, let's jump in to last week's games. The 49ers defeat the Seahawks. The Seahawks are reeling right now. They are slipping, falling apart after a five, three and zero start. Yeah, when three the, and three, when they lose by twelve points at home to an injury riddled team, there's cause for concern. Yeah, there is cause for concern for concern in 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 uh, Seattle. Speaking of cause of concern, this next game. Oh, we'll go ahead and talk about it. And I knew this was coming. I knew it was. This is the dumpster fire of the week. Yeah, the yeah the 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 Dallas Cowboys are our dumpster fire of the week. Marty, you notice Marty's not here because he was so Marty, scared. Marty was ashamed he to, was so to <laughs> show his face <laughs> after seeing after that. After seeing the Cowboys lose forty-seven to nine, that was pathetic. And obviously, I'm a Cowboys fan. Been a Cowboys Do you fan. Think my, that's a my, fair my, word. My whole time. Oh yeah, that's, they're, they're, that's they're, awful. They're pathetic. Uh, and I actually, I actually, I actually, I called this from the beginning of the season. Dallas is at best a seven to ten team. Because Jerry Boy, oh Jerry Boy is getting a bunch of heat, isn't he? Finally, Jerry Jones. No, listen, but finally the Cowboys general manager is getting some heat for all of the bad decisions that have been made by the general manager. It all slash the, owner. But, well, he just happens to own the team, but he's a horrible <laughs> general manager also. Terrible moves. And terrible. It, you know, Derrick Henry was floating around out there. We didn't have a running game last year. Derrick Henry was floating around. Did we go get Derrick Henry? Baltimore got him. Nope. No. Uh, a lot of good wide receivers floating around out there last year. Did we get anybody to go with C.D. Lamb? No. No. Uh, let's see here. We lost our defensive coordinator because we didn't want to pay him enough to keep him. And Dan, then Dan Quinn. Mike, and then you got Mike Zimmer over there. And Mike Zimmer. Now, Mike Zimmer's okay, but he can't come in and do the same thing that Dan Quinn was doing with Dan Quinn's system. With Dan Quinn's players. So now here we are sitting at uh, three and three, and I have a, haven't won a home game. Haven't won a home game, and that was on Jerry's birthday too. Jerry's birthday, he lost forty-seven to nine. Yeah, blow out the candles. Happy That's, birthday, Jerry. Jeez. And I said I'm a Cowboys fan, so it you know it hurts me, it burns me a little bit more than what it would normally, because uh, I'm a because I'm a Cowboys. Fan. Jerry needs to back out and take his son with him. I'm sorry. He needs to back out of the the Cowboys and turn it over to somebody and let somebody else run the team. I'm tired of losing for what has it been for 29? 29 I haven't we haven't had, we haven't been to Super Bowl in 29 years. <laughs> that's that's older than I am. I haven't seen a Cowboys Super Bowl in my life. No, you you haven't seen a Cowboys Super Bowl in, in your life. And I'm starting to, want, starting to wonder if I will in the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, but, but anyways, Detroit, Detroit had a pos a bunch of positives. Hey, here. Detroit uh, is uh, Detroit looked a little shaky starting out the year this year. But their offense they have pulled the it. They have pulled it together. We did get Just, to see Hennon Hooker come in, and his first throw ever in the NFL was, was a 19-yard pass, 19-yard completion. So yay, Hennon Hooker. The only what? negative here is Aiden Hutchinson's leg. Oh, Aiden Hutchinson, yeah, he broke his uh, lower leg pretty badly, had to have emergency surgery. He'll be out for the year, so prayers up for him and uh, his family. He was their best defensive Edge player. Edge rusher. Mm, so, so, uh, so we definitely have prayers up for him, but they, they seem to finish the game strong after he went out in the first quarter. But, yeah, that was a gruesome, that was a gruesome leg injury. Now let's go on to your dumpster fire. Oh. No, my, mine is the biggest dumpster fire. But you got a little Falcons. Uh, David Tepper, thirty-eight to twenty, the Falcons David, beat the Panthers. This is an indictment on how David Tepper is a clown. He is a clown without makeup. He comes out of a clown car. He doesn't have the squeak, the the nose that you can squeak like yes. this. Yes, yet, <laughs> not yet. But my wormhole, I could show David Tepper is pretty freaking deep. 
Let me tell yeah. you that much. So the Panthers traded away two years' worth of picks and all of their good players to get a quarterback now that they have benched after two starts into his second season. And, and we traded to the Bears Caleb Williams and Darnell Wright. Darnell Wright. We traded D DJ Moore. DJ Moore. And the prior year, you got rid of Christian McCaffrey so you can have those picks. And then you trade him away, and you got Bryce Young sitting on the bench. And rumor, and one of the one of the moves now that I've seen is maybe trading him to the Dolphins for a fourth round pick. So you got rid of all of that in return for a fourth round pick. David Tepper's a clown. That was. To, do you want me to reiterate that David Tepper that's is one of the, a clown? That's one of the worst moves since uh, uh, Herschel, a Herschel Walker. That's, that's a Herschel Walker trade. That is a Herschel Walker trade. We gave the Bears our everything. Uh -huh. And we get nothing. And you get nothing in return for it. That's that's literally a bust trade. That's one of that the worst trades trade. in draft history now. It is, yeah. And I have to have that hanging over my head like a cloud because <laughs> David Tepper is so I don't tepperish. Know. I don't know how else I can. Can you say, explain Tepper in a different way other than clown? Uh, because I'm hard. I'm trying to figure out words to uh, say. My owner is terrible. At least your owner's not the GM too. But my owner does throw beer on opposing fans when he gets upset. Yeah, you got a point there. Uh, we had the Jaguars Bears. Speaking of the Bears, this was the our London game. Could have been ours. Thirty-five to sixteen. This could have been ours. That could have been your Darnell Wright. Could have been on your team. But the Bears. The Bears are, are starting to pull it. The Jaguars are my disappointing team. What happened to the Jaguars? Doug Peterson's on the hot list. He's on the. Two, I mean, two years ago they looked like they were. Super Bowl bound within three or four years. You know, they looked like up and coming, and then all of a sudden, ah, boom. And I mean, it's blew up like a missile, baby. It yep. ain't even close. Jaguars, they also, I think Doug Peterson, if he doesn't turn this around, he may not have a job. Yeah. Uh, we had Texas, Texas Patriots. Speaking of someone who has his job secure in this case, let's be positive here. C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud is a good quarterback. He is a good quarterback. The Texans have a very good quarterback. And a good, good guy off the field. They have a good coach. They have a good, they have a good system set up, period. They have a really good system, a really good quarterback. They brought in Diggs. Diggs, Diggs caught some pretty good catches this week. I, sometimes I worry about diva wide receivers coming in and messing up chemistry because chemistry is everything Yep. in a locker room. And At I least feel like, to me, it's chemistry. Do you think C.J. Stroud is good enough right now to mend some of the – possible chemistry issues that I, Diggs' behavior can get? I think so, yeah. I, I think so, yeah. And I think that team's good enough to where they can say, you know, if you can either shut down or you can either shut up or sit down. I mean, I think they're good enough to do that. You know, if if that was your only good wide receiver, you, you can't say that, Buffalo Bills. But <laughs> if if he's one of three good wide receivers, then – yeah, he, you never know. He can you can you can you can sit him on but the bench. The Patriots started Drake May. Yeah, they and did. And I'm not gonna he, I'm judge. A, I'm not gonna criticize too heavily a rookie's first ever no, start. He threw more uh, touchdowns in his first game than anybody than their whole team has the, for the season so far. Then I'd tell you Jacoby Brissett wouldn't be there that long. Yeah, yeah. He threw more in one game than uh, Jacoby had the entire year. Maybe when you have a, a pocket passer like Drake May, maybe your passing game gets a little more efficient. It gets a little more efficient. Now, he did throw a couple picks. But he got three touchdowns. But they got three touchdowns, so that was good. The Commanders-Ravens, the the the, uh, the rising team in the NFL. King Who's Henry. the Baltimore Ravens? King Henry. He can still run the ball. What a surprise. He can Tennessee still Titans. run the ball. DJ oh, Moore can still my catch the goodness. Ball. And King Henry. He's carrying the Ravens' offense. He is right now, yeah. And, they, and Jaden Daniels still played decent, but not good enough to overcome Derrick Henry. No, they scored 30 points. And some, a lot of times when you when you uh, give up 30 points, it's hard to overcome 30 points. Uh, we had the Browns-Eagles, another disastrous franchise. And uh, do you happen to know all of these are personal because Cowboys, Panthers, and now this time, my sister. Do you know that... Uh, We've went through one, two, we've went through three different four-year terms of presidents since the last time Deshaun Watson had a 300-yard passing game. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. I thought that was a weird, but that's, that's a fact. Ken Dorsey has no right to be an offensive coordinator 
can uh, Deshaun Watson has no reason to still be on this roster right now. Let's see here. Deshaun Watson is now 0 for 25 in his last 25 third downs for Cleveland. I'm blaming that front office. I'm blaming Jimmy Haslam, the owner of the fr- the Browns. You know I'm blaming <laughs> the coach. I'm blaming. You want to know this? It, get, it gets even better. The Cleveland Browns leaders in touchdowns this season is Ron, Rodney McLeod Jr. He plays defense. That kind of shows Their you how the touchdown leader is, is a, a defensive, defensive player. player. <laughs> Deshaun Watson needs to be cut. I, I don't think there's any if ors or buts about it. He needs to. He needs to. He needs to stop. And just another little shout back to Lamar Jackson here. I meant to say this during he, he is at uh, Lamar Jackson's twenty one and one uh, now in his career against the NFC. So if you're NFC, an NFC team, you don't want to play Baltimore. Baltimore, no. The four best teams by point dif- d- d- differential so far this year: Lions, Vikings, Vikings Bears, Packers. The entire NFC North. <laughs> the entire NFC North. So that's just some fun facts are that I pulled out of the NFL this this week. Uh, the, the Cardinals, Packers. Again, we're getting right into the Packers since we're covering those here. And the Packers are seeming to find their groove. Yeah, they got Jordan Love back. He's healthy. Seems to be clicking clicking a little bit. Of course, the Cardinals. They're a, they're a roller coaster. Sometimes they look good. Most time they don't look good. The best performance of the week was Tampa Bay's offense. Fifty one. Fifty one. On the road. Fifty. When you put up a fifty spot on somebody, it don't matter who it is. Fifty is a lot of points. Fifty one. In the pros, that's a bunch. That's a bunch of points. But Baker Mayfield. Oh, he threw three picks, but he threw four touchdowns. If you score 51 points, it doesn't matter how many. You could throw 18 picks. If you score 51 points, <laughs> you're going to win. <laughs> you're going to win. Uh, and now Baker, uh, Baker's uh, uh, vying for MVP this year. He's playing some good football. He's isn't playing he? some good football. Uh, Colts, Titans. Uh, somebody yeah, had to lose it. The Titans lost it again. Because uh, Brian Callahan is seriously struggling to keep the fan base together. Mm. And Will Levis continues to be a mid-tier quarterback. He was a mid-tier quarterback in college. I don't know how, why these people think that they can bring a mid-tier player out of college and bring him into the NFL and all of a sudden make him good. That's, that's just management, you know? That's management. We can change him. We can change him and make him the quarterback we want. No, he... You can't do that, no. Chargers, Broncos, Chargers uh, won that one. And that Uh, was a big win for... That was a big win for uh, Harbaugh there. Steelers, uh, Raiders, the Steelers continue to roll 32-13. to There was a little bit of a controversy with the Steelers this week. uh, Do they start Russell Wilson or do they keep Fields? Fields has uh, got him a pretty good record so far this year, but uh, Wilson has took first team snaps. A lot of the, not all, but a lot of the first team snaps. So there's rumor that uh, Wilson may get a start this week. So now that might be a good thing, might be, but I don't know. I'm not going to question. Yeah, I wouldn't question it much. If you've got two quarterbacks, how many do you have? None. (laughs) Zero. If you got two starting quarterbacks, you got zero starting quarterbacks. So uh, the Bengals defeat the Giants, and their defense plays well for the first time this season. Yeah, seven only gave up seven points to the Giants. But do you know what running gag uh, is dead this week? What? Jalen Hyatt got a catch. They got one catch. One catch. They need to trade him. I wish they would trade him to uh, a good team. <laughs> you know, this, uh, Monday Mo- Monday night's game was a barn burner. The Bills beat the Jets 23-20. to 20. How do you think of Todd Downing's debut as a offensive coordinator here? It could have been worse. It started off okay, actually. The first drive, the first set of scripted plays looked pretty good. Because, you you know, you script out your first set of plays. Those actually looked pretty, pretty good. Once you got out of that first... The crack started to show. The crack started to show a little bit, and it was hard for him to call plays after that. I don't know if he has trouble putting the plays together once the game gets going. Maybe maybe that's it. But the, the game plan actually started out pretty good. Now, there was a few moves made in the NFL after after these games. The Jets traded for Devontae Adams to get the offense going. Devontae Adams was uh, with the Raiders not playing because of an injury. Because he was – also he because he was frustrated. He wanted out of that thing. Now, now he is at the Jets and he's projected to play this week. 
But also, Amari Cooper is gone to Josh Allen's world. Yep, talking about the Bills. Amari Cooper, they needed another wide receiver. So that was and a very good Amari move. Amari Cooper, that was a good move by the Bills. I think that's a very good move and by the, Bills the are by the Bills, yeah. The win by 4 and 2, so not a bad start mm -mm. for Buffalo. Again, we've been saying for 2 or 3 years now, Buffalo, if they don't catch the lightning while it's in the air, they're going to start going down the other side of the hill and they're going to be a 7 and 10 team. So they need to take advantage this year because it is the NFL is wide open this year. There's nobody taking this game by threat by just strangling people right now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on into our Week Seven predictions. Thursday night game we got Broncos Saints. Give me Denver right now. Denver, yeah, the Saints have won four. I mean, have lost four in a row. Uh, got beat pretty bad last week. The Broncos seem to be going up. I probably would go Broncos too. All right, let's talk about your Panthers Commanders. <laughs> What do you think I'm going to pick? The Commanders coming off of a loss at home. I'm going Commanders also. Give me plus 20. Yeah, it's... Uh, as long as Tepper is in that franchise, he's going to stink it up. Yeah. As, as long as Tepper is in that franchise. Washington is, should try to prove themselves. It's uh, Washington's favored by eight, but I actually think that's pretty good. Patriots Jaguars. Ooh. Why? Why did why did why they we send, need to see a one of five team versus a one of five team? Why did they send that to London? I don't know, but that is the London game: Patriots at Jaguars. I'm gonna pick New England. I'll probably pick New England too, just because, because Drake got, May has got a little life in them. Drake May looked decent last week. Yeah, we got the Titans. Bills. Bills. Give me the Bills because the Titans are just a disappointed. Bills. Bills are minus nine at the Rain and Cooper this week. I, I, I think they pull that. Texans. Uh, Packers. That's good, good game. Give me Houston right now. It's at the Packers. The Packers are favored by two and a half, which means if it was on a neutral site, Texas would be favored. And if it was in Texas, Tex Texas would be favored by six or so. I'm probably going with the Texans, too. We got the Eagles-Giants. Kellen Moore and the Eagles offense, I don't trust, but I trust them more than the I'd Giants. The Giants, yeah. Eagles minus three sounds pretty good. Lions-Vikings, how about four and one versus five and oh? Uh, uh, uh. I think this is the game where Minnesota cracks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Minnesota's favored by one and a half here. The, the, the Lions seem to have found their groove lately. So I'm two. I, I too think that the uh, Lions win the game straight up. Uh, we got the Seahawks, Falcons. Seahawks have really been bottoming out lately. And the Falcons are playing a little better. Yeah, so I'm probably going to go Falcons R2. That's minus three. Bengals, Browns. Give me Cincinnati any day of the uh, week. Ah, yeah. Cincinnati is actually favored by five and a half. It's criminal how Deshaun Watson and Ken Dorsey are wasting the effort of a good defense. Mm -hmm. Because now, the Browns' defense is solid. Miles Garrett is one of the best players in the league. And he gets zero because the Browns are one and five. I got Bengals minus five and a half, too. We got the Dolphins, Colts. Give me Indy because the Dolphins don't have a quarterback right now. No. But, yeah, this is, this is really good. How many, how many times did you hear, two is terrible, two is terrible, two is terrible, two is terrible? How have they done without him? Not very good. They look horrible without <laughs> Tua. We're sort of finding out how good Tua was. Tua was holding that team together. Yep. yep. Uh, Raiders, Rams. This is a toss-up game. This is a toss-up game. Do you want uh, to pick Raiders here? Yeah, the Rams are actually favored by seven. I don't understand that. That's, that's a little high. The Rams have one win. They're one and four, and they're favored by seven. Can a, can a one-win team be favored by seven? I sort of go Raiders here, too, with a little plus seven. We got the Chiefs 49ers. A little Super Bowl rematch. A little Super Bowl rematch. Plus the Super here. Uh, Patrick Mahomes has his three buddies in charge. We have Travis Kelsey and everybody else in the Kelsey family. Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. uh, you want some pop star. And the third one, the officials. Yeah. Three superpowers underneath his belt. The 49ers are favored by two in San Fran. It's hard to pick against the Chiefs. The Chiefs find a way to win almost every single time. Even if they have a nag in there at offensive well, coordinator. Well, the 49ers have been looking decent lately, even with all of their injuries. But because of all of those injuries, I probably still got to go Chiefs. So I'll probably despite go Chief, nag, Chiefs plus despite two. Despite Matt Nagy being a bad offensive coordinator. The, the reason they're not beating everybody by 20 points is because of Matt Nagy. But 
He is a true nag. Patrick Mahomes is finding some way to, to overcome, overcome the nag. the bad offensive calling and offensive plays. So, we'll see. We got the Jet Steelers. Give me. I actually like the Steelers. You want to pick Pittsburgh here? Uh, this one. They've it's, been a month, it's Sunday night. It is. It is Sunday night. The Jets are actually favored by two. But I don't. Let me ask you this. When Aaron Rodgers was in his prime and Devontae Adams was in his prime playing on the Packers, how many Super Bowls did they win together? So why do you think they're going to be good now when they're 10 years older? And Todd Downing's the offensive And Todd play. Downing's still calling the offensive plays. Oh, bringing, no. Bringing in him and, and, think, it. and thinking that he's going to save the team is like getting chopped with an axe and putting a Band-Aid on it and thinking it's <laughs> going to stop the bleeding. I'm picking the Steelers, <laughs> if you're curious, plus two. Uh, Monday night game, we've got two games on Monday night. They have decided to throw, I think, about – Eight more Monday night games out. They're going to try to. They're, they're going to double up some stuff. So we got Ravens Buccaneers. That's prop, that's, that's the game the of the week. That's the marquee one. That is the game of the Red week. Red Hot Baker against Red Hot Derrick Henry. Isn't that going to be something? That is a fantastic game. Baltimore is actually favored by three and a half. Uh, Give me Tampa straight up. I think Tampa. I would. I'm leaning towards Tampa too because Tampa's at home. Uh, again, Baltimore might slip out a win, but I don't know if it's by four points because it would have to be by four, and if four turns into seven, so I mean, I think yeah, I would I would probably take the Bucks plus uh, three and a half on that one. We got Chargers Cardinals. Give me Chargers. I got Chargers minus Chargers minus two and a half on that one too. You 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 got any more NFL news? Not up the not really at the nah. moment. Now, other than those, moves, was there was there any more moves other than Cooper? I nope, I don't of, think there was. I don't was. think there was any big moves of this. Week. All right, that's it. That's it for NFL this week. We hope you had a little fun with us. Thanks again for SevereTV.com for setting us up here. Thanks again for Autographs Plus for sponsoring us, throwing a couple helmets out here. Uh, so be sure and check us out next week. We'll talk about some more NFL. This year's been topsy-turvy. It's There's no really good teams. I mean, there's nobody just running away with this. So it's going to be an interesting year. Anyways, we hope you had a little fun. Be sure to check us out. Share us with your friends. And we'll see you next week.